Hi everyone, Jason here from eGolf Megastore. Today I'm joined by Worldwide Golf and I'm down here at our El Wassel Sports Club branch. And today we're going to be reviewing the P770 and the P750 from TaylorMade. These irons have been designed by the tour department and had a lot of feedback from tour players. When tour players get involved, what you'll see is a slightly different shape to a club. Slightly thinner sole, slightly thinner top line, and also they're really all about the feel and the sound and the look of a golf club. So these clubs are designed for the better ball striker. Taking a closer look at the P770, one of the key features here is this tungsten bar that runs across the bottom of the cavity. What that does is it just lowers the center of gravity and TaylorMade are saying that this increases the moment of inertia, therefore helping with uh, forgiveness of a better player's club. So we're going to put that to the test in a little bit as we hit it and see how forgiving this club is. Another key feature about this golf club is the CNC milling. And what that does is really just helps spin control. For the better player, that's going to help uh, the flight of the ball as well as just help that distance control. The last and important thing with a good player's iron is, uh, is the forging process. This is a unique and different forging process that they've uh, used for this iron and they've claimed that this is an incredibly soft club. So we're going to have a look at that and I'm going to put this to the test, see how the spin rates perform, see how it feels, see how it sounds and ultimately see if we can get a little bit more forgiveness out of this better player's club. As I set up to that club, what I really like about it, it does have that player's feel to it, but it also has a slightly thicker top line, which just gives you a little bit more confidence. So it's a little bit more confidence over the ball. Give that a hit and see how it feels. Okay, so that wasn't quite my best strike. I caught it quite low on the face, but the feel is really good. If we have a look at those numbers, you can see it's quite a smooth swing because I'm actually hitting out to a target which is probably a little bit shorter than where I'd normally hit a, a 7 iron but really good uh, ball speed numbers there for a slightly uh, off-centered hit. Um, what I liked about it is that it was really controlled, the flight was really controlled, the ball didn't actually spin up too much even though I hit it lower down on the face, normally that would spin up quite a lot. Okay, again, a little bit bottom groove, um, but I'm actually surprised about the forgiveness of that. I didn't lose that much ball speed, even though it was right at the bottom of the face. Um, what I liked about it as well is it still flew pretty straight, so you can see my ball speed numbers are pretty high. And again, even though it came out uh, low off the face, it didn't spin up on me, so I do like that. Another thing that sticks out to me as I'm putting that uh, face down and something I didn't mention in the beginning, we don't have any of the, of the face slots um, or the speed slot at the, or speed pocket at the bottom um, and that certainly sticks out when you see it over the ball, it just uh, looks a lot more traditional. Okay that was a nice strike, a little bit of a push. Um, but a pretty good strike. I think that TaylorMade have uh, actually got this right here with their claims. The feel and also the forgiveness of this P770 is pretty good. Um, what I liked about the club is even on the off-centered strikes, I didn't lose too much of the distance. Um, actually still hitting the green pretty well with some lower on the face strikes. Um, and the feel of the golf club is really good and I do like the look of the club. The only thing I would say that would be my own personal concern is I've been using a golf club that has much stronger loft than this. Um, so I'm hitting my 7-iron substantially further than this. Um, so I'm not sure I'd be able to give up that distance that I've gained with those irons for, for something like this. But that's not the point of this club. If you're looking for some precision and you're looking for some feel and some workability, then this is definitely the club to look at. So let's take a closer look at the P750. We're seeing a lot of the similarities what they've done in the P770 um, in terms of design. We still see the tungsten bar in the 3-iron through 7-iron, but there's a lot less weight in this so that they can give it a lot uh, more compact shape. As I look at this golf club, I can see that this is a much sleeker head. Even the sole of the golf club is a lot thinner and the top line is most certainly a lot thinner than that. So this is now designed for that elite ball striker. Same thing we're looking at in terms of the CNC milling face. So really going to help with the spin control of the shots. Um, and also this is just 
going to be one with the forging that we've seen is just going to be a feel. So already having hit the other one, I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually feels and performs. So as I set this behind the ball, that is really a nice traditional looking golf club. It just looks so neat behind the ball. It's been a while since I've used something like this, so let me give it a hit and see how it feels. Just really looks nice over the ball. Oh, the feel on that was great. Fantastic feel on that. Little soft draw, nice spin, really good strike, so uh, that helps. See, my ball speed was pretty similar to the P770 there, but my club head speed was just a little bit faster. So as we look at that shot, really happy with the launch. Um, it is a touch lower than the P770. Um, that'll probably be due to the little bit less weight lower down. I'm gonna give that another hit and see, but the feel was really great. I'll take the shot as well. No golf club is gonna help with that. Unfortunately, that's a, a much less forgiving golf club. I hit that, abs, uh, hit that fat, um, and even still, catching a little bit of turf still felt pretty good. No need to look at those numbers. Right, see if I can hit a slightly different shot in here. Okay, I actually caught that really low on the face. And I must say, I'm surprised that it actually maintained uh, the ball speed that it did there. I'm gonna give us uh, one more shot. Certainly can feel the, uh, the difference in the two uh, from a forgiveness perspective. But it really is hard to get over the look of this. This just looks fantastic. That was a better one. We'll take that one. I must say, it's been a while since I've actually hit a club that's probably this small. Um, but what I've really liked about it, even though it is a much smaller head and you get so much feedback off the head, um, definitely a little bit more forgiving than I actually thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit harder to hit just because of that slightly smaller head. Um, this blade compared to the other one is just a little bit smaller uh, in the length of the actual blade as well as the thinner top line. But if you're a player that's really looking to get feedback and feel and just that beautiful look of a golf club, then this is certainly a club to come and try out. Having put those to the test, I can certainly see uh, some of the claims coming through. The P770 is a fairly forgiving golf club for what it is, the nice shape and, and smaller design. So definitely getting a little bit of forgiveness out of there. It's also a really nice feeling golf club, that's for sure. Um, and what I like about it is the consistency that it produces with its spin rates. The P750 is really a nice looking golf club uh, and the feel is fantastic. Uh, as I said before, the, the only thing I would say is I've, I've got irons that go quite a lot further. They are stronger in lofts. Uh, these are not designed for that. So if you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more precision and you're looking for a little bit more workability uh, with your irons, these are definitely irons to, to have a look at. The other thing that you could possibly do is also uh, make a combination set. You could put these in the long irons, the P770, and you can have the short irons in the P750. So you would have a nice combination there uh, and then you could match up the lofts pretty well. Overall, I think these have uh, been pretty good. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to give us some ideas and uh, some feedback, please go ahead and leave some comments below. Uh, we would appreciate that. Take care. Cheers.